<laughs> okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, private joke. Okay, so here we go again. You wake up in the morning. <sighs> Especially when it's really been hot at night. That's kind of hard to hard to sleep well. We do have air conditioning. It's self-selected. <laughs> yes. Non-use. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. One of these days we'll give in. <laughs> when it when it's going to be hot and stay hot, we'll turn the AC on. But when it's going to be up and down, you know, you don't want to... What, what's the... You know you're going to want to turn it off and open up the windows for the fresh air anyway pretty soon, so why turn it on? We're going to begin with When Morning Gilds the Skies, number 807. And it turns out we have not done that one so far in our devotions. So um, it's not a super familiar one. I hope that you can get it. 807. Let's see here. When morning gilds the skies, my heart awaking cries. May Jesus Christ be praised When evening shadows fall This rings my curfew call May Jesus Christ be praised When mirth for music longs This is my song of songs May Jesus Christ be praised God's holy house of prayer Hath none that can compare with Jesus Christ be praised. No lovelier and is fun in all my heaven is known than Jesus Christ be praised. There to the eternal word, the eternal song is heard. May Jesus Christ be Christ be praised, let all the earth around ring joyous with the sound. May Jesus Christ be praised. Sing suns and stars of space, sing ye that see his face. Sing Jesus Christ be praised, God's whole creation Lord, both now and evermore. Now Jesus Christ be praised. That's I got sorry, I lost track of what verse we were on there at first. That's okay. Uh, verse three or four. Um I did that. It's unusual the, uh, that we that we uh I mean it's a hymn that is about a hymn. Mm -hmm. And it's just that one phrase. May Jesus Christ be praised is uh, the whole hymn is about singing that. Okay, I'm going to read Proverbs chapter 8, verse 27. Okay. And the mystery here is who is I? It's the Holy Spirit. Oh, okay. Wisdom. Ah. When he established the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he established the fountains of the deep, when he assigned to the sea its limits so that the waters might not transgress his command, when he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him like a master workman, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing before him always, rejoicing in his inhabited world and delighting in the children of man. And now, O sons, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise and do not neglect it. Blessed is the one who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting beside my doors. For whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor, favor from the Lord. 
that he who fails to find me injures himself. All who hate me love death. It's very hard for us not to associate work with drudgery <clears throat> and, and pain and struggle and weariness. Uh, I <laughs> am especially guilty of that. Even when even when work is good, you steal yourself for it. You okay? Here we go. We're gonna gonna I got a big day here. And even when it's something you've looked forward to, hey, we're gonna get this done. It's it's heavy. Work has a heaviness to it. Uh, and that's that's because of Adam and Eve. That's because of the the curse. But but as it's described here, where the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit work together. They labor together to create the world. And this is, uh, these are the words of wisdom. Does not wisdom call? Does not uh, understanding raise her voice? And uh, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence. That's verse 12. I walk in the, uh, I love those who love me. Seek me diligently and find me. So wisdom is often how the, the identity of the Holy Spirit is expressed in the Old Testament. When he established the heavens, I was there, and he drew a circle on the face of the deep. He made the skies above, the foundations of the deep, marked out the foundations of the earth. I was beside him like a master workman. I was daily his delight, rejoicing before him always, rejoicing in his inhabited world and delighting in the children of men. So it was not just in nature, but in that God made a world to be inhabited and and it would be by us. And the Holy Spirit delighted in laboring with the Father to do this. Now, there's this, this next section. How do they fit together? Because the whole chapter goes through this creation stuff and the Spirit and the Father. And then it says, And now, O sons, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise and do not neglect it. Blessed is the one who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting beside my doors. The Spirit delighted in creating this world and you. Do you delight in being a partner with the Holy Spirit in the creation of God's world, in the recreation of God's world? as you go about your business today, that, as he describes it here, I was beside him like a master workman. I was daily his delight rejoicing before him, always rejoicing in his inhabited world. Are you beside him? Are you, are you alongside the Holy Spirit as God does his work? You think about your work, but God is doing his work in you, through you so that you are beside him. Not just that he's beside you, we talk about that, God God is with you, the Lord be with you, also with you. But, but that you would be with him while he's working. That you would be by his side. And that just is a reminder of who's really doing the work today. Uh, so we, we listen we watch at the gates. We wait beside the doors. We find the Holy Spirit and we find life. Life in all these burdens and chores of the day. Life in everything we do in partnership with the Holy Spirit, with the Father, with the Son who fills us up. That, that's a hard, it's a hard feeling to capture. Uh, Lord knows, uh, we begin the day here not always feeling so energetic and like, wow, what are we going to do with the Holy Spirit today, <laughs> right? Uh, and yet it's still true. And I pray as we, as we begin our day with prayer together that you would recognize it and remember it also. Let's wait beside his gates. Dearest Holy Spirit, 
fill us once again as we have emptied ourselves now fill us up with your wisdom let us work beside you walk beside you and rejoice in all that you are doing your work is amazing O oh God we praise you for the magnificence multiplicity and majesty of your creative work now let our own recreation imitate your creative power as we play as we playfully do your work here let our joy echo your joy as we are refreshed by time spent in fun or in rest and play with one another Lord be present in our leisure glory be to you O oh Lord Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen.